In the last video, I built the trusses. In this video, things start moving upwards. It's framing time. All the work until now has been down on the ground. Now, in preparation for building upwards, I start by drilling holes for the anchor bolts that will secure the base rails for the 16 foot tall walls. These anchor bolts are ultimately what will keep the building on the ground, even at the designed wind speed of 110 miles an hour. I checked the square on the foundation and everything was within an eighth of an inch. Even measuring the diagonals, they're within an eighth of each other. When things start going this good, you know there's something around the corner that is going to wreck your day. Well, it happened. I finally get around to doing a proper inventory check, and sure enough, I have some wrong parts. The T-connectors for the end walls are the wrong size, and if I don't get them this week, it's going to delay the project. Luckily, VersaTube's manufacturing plant is an hour and a half away. I call them up, they fab up some parts for me, and I pick them up the same week. Okay, so back to building. With the correct T-connector parts back from Tolson, and with a base rail squared up on the slab foundation, I tighten down the anchor bolt nuts. I then stand up the wall frames vertical on the base rails. I have just enough height with my extend hoe to set the trusses. After all the hard work that led up to this moment, I get to see the building finally start to take on its shape. After a lot of screws, 5,810 to be exact, I wrap things up for this episode. I'll pick up next time installing the doors and windows, followed by getting all the siding on and the roof up. It was a big relief to get the building dried in the night before getting hammered by a big snowstorm.